Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here with a follow-up video to show you how to install updates and DLC into Simu so you can play um, some Wii U games, uh, ma mainly Breath of the Wild. Let's get real. We're going to use this to play Breath of the Wild. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But before we start, um, I just want to say if you did not see the first video I made on Simu on the Steam Deck to get WUX files to work, watch that video before you watch this one because a lot of the steps are pretty much the same and it like if you watch that first video this video becomes a lot easier so i highly recommend you watch that video i'll leave a link in the description below secondly we're using breath of the wild and the keys um because you're you're gonna need keys for the update and you're gonna need keys for the um dlc files and you also need keys for the UX Breath of the Wild files. And I know a lot of people had trouble finding the right keys. Now the keys I'm using for this, I know for a fact work. So I can't post them in the description below. But if you're really having trouble finding them, you can hit me up on Twitter. I'll help you out that way. Um, link to my Twitter is in the description below. Just send me a, a message. My DMs are open, so you can just send me a message. Just say, hey, need help with the Wii U key files. I'll know what it means, and I'll help you out. Um, so there's that. And um, and before we start, uh, the way I set up Steam Deck, I did cover this in the first video, but I'm going to just mention it again. I have MU Deck installed on my console itself and not on an SD card. Most people have it the other way around, where they install MU Deck on the SD card and leave the console free. Um, that will, I'll show you, it, it changes where the directory starts for us to go through folders. I'll mention that when we get there. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. I have the keys that we all need, um, and the files. Oh, and if you want to download the update and DLC file, because I know a lot of people have a trouble finding where they are. All I did, because I did it this morning, all I did was Google Breath of the Wild update DLC and download and it gave me the first link it should be like an internet archive i was able to download the files there so i know that was like the biggest thing uh from my last videos people didn't know where to download the rom files um they didn't know how to extract them and they didn't know where to get the key files so i just want to mention that in the very beginning okay so let's actually begin the tutorial now after four minutes of talking so it's honestly fairly simple it's pretty much the exact same thing as doing the wii u or the wx files with the keys so what we have here is this is my desktop for some reason when i put on the capture card all my icons went away so this is actually what's on my desktop i have the breath of the wild keys here uh i'll open those up Again, these are the correct keys. I know for a fact all these keys work and they'll get you to have the US ROM at least uh, working on Simu. So I already copy and pasted all this in the correct folder, but I'll show you where we're gonna go. So I'm gonna go to home. If you have MU deck installed on your SD card, you're gonna go down here to primary and this is where your SD card is. I did it on MU deck, so or I did it on my Steam Deck. So I go to Home, and I'm going to go to this Emulation folder, and then I'm going to go to ROMs, Wii U, and then here we have our key folder. Like I said before, I took all those keys from that key folder, and I pasted them in here. You can see the Breath of the Wild DLC Europe, US, Japan. Oh, and that's another thing that I want to mention. You don't just have to have the one region because all of this DLC, it's all region locked. So you need the right region key to go with the right region game file and DLC. But if you get a, you can post all of the keys from each region. It doesn't affect anything. As long as you have that one key that does work, it doesn't matter how many keys you have in your key document here. So again, you just post all the keys. Uh, you don't just need that single one. And it doesn't screw anything up if you have more than one. Again, that was a big, big thing in the last video I noticed. 
So I posted, just pasted all the keys for the DLC, Breath of the Wild. So that's all good. And I have Breath of the Wild, the WUX file right here. So now what I'm gonna go to is we're gonna go back to home, the emulation folder, and now we're gonna go to tools. And in the tools folder, we're gonna go to launchers. And in the launchers, we're gonna just execute Simu. I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't have the DLC involved. So Simu notices we have Breath of the Wild and the keys are saying it's right here. So we can try to open it. I will open it. And you'll see it actually start up. We have the loading screen. Everything seems to be working until you get to here. It says you must perform a system update for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. All right, so we can actually play it. So we're going to exit out of this. It's not responding. Uh, terminate. Boom. Okay, so we exited out of it. That's fine. So um, I don't even think it's in my downloads folder anymore. Anyway, so one weird thing I found out about this is for whatever reason, Simu will not allow me to look into my Steam Deck's files to get the updates and DLC. You'll see in a minute, like what I'm talking about. But anyway, I have moved the update and DLC folder to my SD card that I have in here. It's this folder right here. It says update DLC. And when I open it, I have the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild update. And this is the DLC. It just says Breath of the Wild, but this is the DLC folder. So I move those into this primary SD card. Um, I don't know why I could not access like my Steam Deck's files, like internal files from like where we need to install it. I'll show you in a second, but just so you know, I download the update DLC. I made a new folder that says update DLC and put these two folders in there. And again, I got these off internet archive. So this is the update and DLC for the US Breath of the Wild. So now that that's all said, I'm gonna go to home. Um, we're gonna go back to emulator. We're gonna go back to tools. We're gonna go back to launchers. Now we're gonna go to C Simu. We're gonna execute Simu. And it pops up here. And this is what I was talking about where it's like a weird glitch. So to install the update and DLC, you go to file and then install game title, update or DLC. You click that. And this is what I was talking about where I could not get to the file um, because I wanted to go to my like Wii U folder and put the update and DLC in that one. And for whatever reason, like I can go to my C drive, I got my program files. I cannot get to that file whatsoever. So what I decided to do was go to my computer and the E drive, this is your SD card. So I'm gonna go to E drive and now you see we have that update DLC folder there. So all you need to do is click on that, open it. Then what, now this is the tricky part and this is what like screwed me up a little bit. You select the folder. So this is the DLC and I'm gonna hit open. So don't open the folder by double clicking it. Just click on the folder once and then hit open on the bottom and it's installing DLC. It knows this is DLC, it's installing it. And I'll hit okay. And now we'll do the same thing. Uh, go here, go to my computer, go to the E drive, go to the update folder, and we're gonna go to the update and hit open. And it'll install the update. This is gonna take a little bit uh, mainly because the update's like two gigs. It's actually pretty damn big. Um, but that's pretty much it on how to install the update and DLC. This is uh, how it's done. I will... Um... See, like, I want to say, like, uh, I might just speed up this part. But I'll finish what I'm saying. So basically, um, all you need to do is download the update file down the dlc file they're on internet archive once you get those you'll have to extract them so you extract oh there we go now it's starting to go then you extract them and then you put those two folders in a folder that says update dlc and for whatever reason i had to put it on my sd card um for simu to act so i can actually like find where it is and install them i don't know why that was the case 
but that's just the way I had to do it, so you might have to do it that way as well. So I just moved that folder onto my the root of my SD card, and now it's almost installed. And you just have to put the keys for the DLC and the update in the keys folder. And again, if you're having trouble finding them, hit me up on Twitter, and I'll hit OK. And now, for the final result, we will hit Zelda. Allow it to load. And just like that, uh, we're in. Uh, I don't have the controller set up <laughs> for this, so I actually can't get past this screen, but you saw we got past the... Uh, can I hit the A button? Nah, it's just not working. Uh, I didn't, like, arrange the controller with the keypad and mouse, so I can't actually hit A to start the game, but you can see it's working. As soon as you hit A, the game will start, and you can play it on your Steam Deck. So, there you go, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I tried my best to cover every single possible angle um, that I learned from the last episode on this episode, but if you guys still have questions, feel free to Write that in the comment section. I will try my best to answer them. Um, I try to be as clear as possible, though. But um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, and again, thank you so much. I got like 18,000 views on my last episode. So thank you guys so much for actually taking the time to watch, like, comment, like. And um, I really hope this video helped you out, too. So now you should be able to play um, Breath of the Wild. And... The way I did this, it works for any game, any game's update or DLC. That's all you need to do. So just copy the, like, find the keys for it, paste those in the keys folder, then download the update and DLC, put it in that update DLC folder, and then you just go to file, install, update DLC, find that folder and install it, and you should be able to run the game. Um... And it should all work as long as your keys are the right keys and everything's where it's supposed to be. Everything should work. So, um, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later.